um, in this video we will be covering the topic of estimation O level mathematics so let's begin this is a scan copy of the topical topic 3 estimation by writing each number correct to one significant figure estimate the value of so 48.49 48.9 to a one significant figure is 50 times 0 0.2 squared divided by 4 so that's 50 into 0 0.04 by 4 this is one time this is 100 times and 1 by 2 that is 0 0.5 by writing each number correct to one significant figure again so 0 0.4 times this is 7 square which makes it 49 but up to one significant figure we can round it to 50 this is cube root the nearest number is 8 which will give you the answer to the nearest number so this is 2 so taking away this is 0 0.2 0 0.2 times 50 you give the 0 to the number and it becomes 10 up to one significant figure express correct to two significant figures so first digit second digit this is two numbers and this 8 actually converts this rounds off so this is 16 1 2 3 16,000 up to two significant figures <clears throat> for this number up to two significant we ignore these zeros and this this 4 cannot convert it so 0 0.0030 use your answer to part a to estimate the value of to correct to one significant figure so just copy these values 16,000 times 0 0.003 and we know that these are three zeros so these three zeros will get rid of this 16 into 3 is 48 so up to one significant figure this becomes uh, 50 by writing each number correct to one significant okay question number four estimate again up to one significant figure 7.8 becomes eight this is 300 because two cannot round off this figure and this is 0 0.2 so first we get rid of this decimal in the denominator multiply both sides with 10 so 8 into 3000 by 2 to 1 times to 4 times so that's 4 3 times 12 thousand do write the answers in the answer space express this correct to two decimal places so 1 2 which is 0, 0.0 don't forget this can round off this 4 because that's 5 or more than 5 estimate the value of square root 200 your answer correct to two decimal places so this is actually close to 196 which is 14 so two significant figures closest number is 14 by writing each number correct to one significant figure estimate so 212 becomes 200 times this is 2 squared that is 4 and 0 0.8 again in the same way get rid of the decimal this is 2000 times 4 over 8 so 4 1 times 4 2 times 2 1 times and this is 1000 up to one significant figure by making suitable approximations so i'm writing this close to 300 square root 15.98 that is close to 16 and square root 16 is 4 0 0.19 would make it 0 0.2 now I'm directly converting it into 3000 into 4 over 2 2 1 times 2 2 times 3 into 2 is 6000 by writing each number correct to two significant figures okay two significant figures this would become 110 minus two significant figure 0 0.20 times 2SF this will round it off so this is 3 70 and square root so when we multiply 370 with 0 
forget about this zero this is after decimal so zero seven two times fourteen four one carries two three times six one seven with one decimal place so this is one ten minus seventy four whole square root so one ten minus seventy four take carry six and ten thirty six so square root thirty six is six given that pi could be written as this find the difference between 22 by 7 and pi correct to two significant figures so let's see what this makes 22 by 7 7 3 times is 21 we're left with 1 take a decimal 7 1 times is 7 you're left with 3 decimal again and 7 3 times 7 4 times is 28 this is two zero zero. How long do we have to go? Correct to two significant figures. This is three one four. This is same. So up to two significant, I'll have to move on. Seven two times is fourteen six zero zero. Seven seven times is forty nine. Seven six times is fifty. Seven eight times is fifty six. So seven eight times fifty six. 4, 0 that would be enough 0 0.28 point 0.28 so this is 3.1428 and we subtract 3.1415 so on so 8 minus 5 is 3 1 0 0 let me check one more if this became 40 7 5 times is 35 so that's a 5 and that is 9 5 and 9 let's check this too that was 0 0.013 and if we move to this one this is 7 15 9 6 7 minus 5 is 2 2 minus 1 1 yes it's still the same up to two decimal places up to two significant figures one three by writing each number correct one significant figure estimate the value of this so 20 times 9 by 0 0.6 get rid of this decimal multiply with 10 on both sides 3 2 times 3 3 times 2 1 times 100 100 into 3 is 300 estimate correct to the nearest whole number the value of this now 72 pi is 3.14 so 72 by 3 if we solve for this 3 2 times is 6 1 2 4 so that is 24 so square root of 24 and square root of 24 is close to 25 so approximate value should be 5 the values of 3 cube roots correct to one decimal place are given use as much information above information necessary to solve this okay if we write the 0 0.005 cube root as 5 over 1000 cube root and then split them into cube root 5 over cube root of 1000 so we can copy this value that cube root 5 is actually 1.7 and cube root of 1000 is 10 so this is 0 0.17 write the number this let me get rid of this line correct to three significant figures so this is first this is second this is third and it becomes 0 0.0406 because it is rounded due to this eight giving answer in standard form this plus this so you cannot add until you have same bars and there's one more method you can take bars as common so if i take I'll just convert this if I increase this 6 you decrease this part and it becomes minus 5 now the powers are same so 60 plus 8 is 68 into 10 raised to the power minus 5 and to convert it into standard form you should have a decimal 
with the first number so when you reduce this number the power increases that is 10 raised to power minus 4 estimate correct to the nearest whole number 97 square root 97 is close to 100 and square root of 35 is close to 36 so 10 minus 6 is 4 write this correct to two significant figures so this is the cutoff this is 4 1 this lies between two consecutive integers complete the inequality below so 131 11 square is 121 12 square is 144 So two integers are 11 and 12. Add brackets to the statement to make it correct. You may go through few hidden trials. So, and this is 3, 2 times 6 plus 1, 7, 7 squared is 49. By making suitable approximations, estimate the value of this. Suitable approximation this should be 40 and square root 8.8 .8 is close to 9 so square root of 9 is 3 divided by 6 3 1 times 3 2 times and 2 1 time 2 20 times again suitable approximations where did it go Square root of 35 is close to 36. Square root of 36 is 6. Cube root of 1005, it is close to 1000. So that would be a 10 over 0 0.3. Get rid of this decimal. 6 into 100 by 3 multiplied with 10 on both sides. And answer is 200. One more question. And then we'll stop. My writing each number correct to one significant figure. Okay. 28.6 is 30. 47 is 50. Up to 1 significant is 0.5 into times this is 20. So numerator is 80. I'm giving this 0 to 0.5. So 5 2 times is 10. And answer is 8. Thank you so much. Take care, Allah Hafiz.